Welcome everybody to the 21th, so how do you say that in English actually? At least um, to the Bizarre Boxes Magic Online stream uh, number 21, that kind of fits better. <laughs> Uh, this is actually my 20th uh, uh, Legacy League that I ever played, so that's kind of cool. I actually recorded all of them, so um, yeah, let's actually see what we're going to play this evening. We're going to play um, this list. It's the same list that we played uh, last week. It's actually the um, uh, list of Nick. They went top 8 at the North American Legacy Champs. Uh, well, yeah, for the people who don't know the list. It's um, kind of like the Delver shell, but then um, without the Delver. Uh, he, he actually played uh, 4 Questing Druid and 4 Bowmasters. So that combination is actually, uh, hopefully, what is the power of this deck. I went 3-2 last week, so that was decent. Um, yeah. So to explain a bit more, Delver is kind of weak in the current meta with all the Bowmasters. So uh, we're replacing Delver with Question Druid. So it's kind of like the Grixis Delver shell with green. Therefore the four color tempo list. Uh, for the people that are new here, we are Bazaar of Boxes. Uh, let's post uh, all our information here. This is our uh, website. Oh, the sound is a bit heavy, I think. So that's better. So this is our website. You can see all the things we actually do. We uh, stream on Monday, uh, Tuesday and Thursday. The Monday and the Tuesday kind of switch around sometimes because now I didn't uh, stream on Monday but I did stream today uh, for the rest um, we organize, tour organize tournaments we actually uh, announced uh, our 10th edition you can see it on the website the link that I just gave you if you go to the Bob series you can see all the information there so I think that's all the information I want to share before I'll start so this is my 20th league um, yeah, I think the deck doesn't really need any more explanation. You, actually, Molten Collapse is something you see a bit more often, so I'm trying it as well. It's actually the same list as Nick, so I didn't came up with Molten Collapse, but I see it more often also in the main uh, main deck. People are trying that in the Delver Shells. So that's kind of cool. Let's put the music a bit down. So, it should be a bit better, I think. Or this song is just quite loud. Okay. Yeah, I think that should be uh, everything. So let's play a league. Uh, let's double check everything. Yeah, should be good, I think. Yeah, okay, well, let's go to a league. So my 20th league, you can actually see all the leagues that I played before at our YouTube. Let's share that as well with you guys. You can see all the leagues that I actually played um, and also the trials that we play on uh, Thursday where we play Paper Magic. Okay, let's play some magic. So four color tempo, that's correct. I should have still enough player points, so we're gonna use that. Okay, let's start and see where this league will end. Okay, I actually won the die roll. Which is nice. Let's go to the in the game scene. Schwink. Okay, nice. I would like to start actually. Uh, yeah, good hand actually. We'll keep this. Um, I am playing the list of uh, Nick, that one, uh, I'll send you the link, there it is, he top aided the uh, North, American North American Legacy Champs, there we go, okay, uh, going for black kind of feels iffy, but I guess 
it makes the most sense. Is it actually? Now we're going to play it safe. This is the, the go-to land here, so. Whew, okay, uh, I guess we take an additional Bowmaster. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just go Bowmaster train. I won't shuffle. Cast bubble. Hmm, it's actually better to cast the bubble first to get additional information. Because if it's a combo deck, then the Bowmasters probably aren't that good. So a little mistake there. Who Chromox can be initiative. Not sure. Well, we do have a counter spell, so uh, yeah, that's it. So actually, gonna draw two lands there, but yeah. This is music not too loud. It's always quite hard to uh, have the same levels. that I hear as well, so. Chromox, we already saw that, so, okay. We do have a counter spell for whatever he's coming up with. Uh, is it Rhinos? Ooh, not sure. No, nah, Rhinos not playing Chromox. This is initiative, right? Yeah, okay, there we go. That's not gonna happen, my friend. Initiative right out of bed, out of the bed. Okay. Well, we play that quite often. So, uh, are we going to? Mm, I guess we're gonna. So the annoying thing is, are we going to do wasteland or not, and wait an additional turn again? I guess it's correct. Because uh, he needs four drops, and if he just plays uh, another soul land, then he's on three, so let's hope this is correct. Hmm. Does he have a fable? Sure. We can shoot block the token next turn. Uh, a little heavy on the lands here, but that's fine. Not giving him information that play Bowmaster, but he's probably expecting it. Uh, sure. Oh, uh, I'm ah stupid idiot. Can I still? Okay, he didn't use the ability. Okay, there we go. Because <laughs> I needed to bowmaster that, but okay. Who even that guy. Uh, I guess we're going to block that then, I think. This is not really looking that good. Um, sure, can't do much about that. So, menace means we can't double block, right? So I guess we try to block the Goblin Shaman then. Aggressive start from his side. can also double block the menace dude, maybe that's better. I guess that's better. He already get a treasure token anyway, so... Oh, then it was better to shoot him actually, because I'm gonna double block here. So yeah, that's not correct. So that's one less damage for him. 
But I think he's gonna sacrifice. Yeah, okay. Okay, a bit of a sloppy start here. The one damage on him was, of course, better. But he could then sacrifice. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if this works. Well, actually, you still have the one. Okay. It kind of does work. Because the one damage. Okay. <laughs> that was all part of the plan. Okay. So we killed that dude. Uh, yeah, I guess it makes sense to bolt the token. Um, is it? Well, let's wait before he goes to the attack step. Let's see if he can turn this stuff around. Not the greatest of stars, I think, but we'll see. So he gets the dude, right? A copy. So I guess we're gonna bolt the... Well, the pens actually. Maybe we can bolt shoot something as well. Oh yeah, I definitely wanna bolt that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna bolt that first. And then we can steal initiative maybe. So he does get additional treasure token, yeah, we can change that. Would be nice if we can kill the, the goblin shaman token there. Yeah, so he does get his token. But we can kill it at least with a block and shoot. Okay. Try to solve this a bit. I think we're slowly crawling back, but he has a lot of lands, which is a bit of an issue. And actually our bowmaster can be blocked by his Kiki Jiki. So we just need uh, just something, anything actually, Merc Tide, Cantrips maybe. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's brainstorm here. Yeah, that should be safe. Let's see if we get an answer to his Kiki Jiki. Uh, Wasteland Merc Tide is good, I think. So, um, Let's return those. Wasteland. His city again. Yeah. The annoying thing is, uh, attacking doesn't make sense here, but I guess we just go Merktide beats. Hopefully that's enough. Remove four spells. You have anything else? No. Okay, then we just remove a land here. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Okay, hopefully this is enough. So attacking doesn't make sense, so let's pass the turn. We're three minutes behind, so that's fine, I think. Camera is a bit. There we go. A bit low. Annoying thing is that he. So we last week we forgot the lose five life. We actually. Stole initiative and go went to the right, so. So he has two lands, so I think we're decent here. Three attacks with Murktide. And we actually have our uh, question dude as well. Two cards at bottom, okay. Does he, can he remove the Murktide? Hopefully he can't. But he has white now, so there's a good chance that he can. But he has only, well, actually with a treasure token, three mana. That the white removal card is four, I think, but I'm not sure. Okay. 
Um, are we going to... Well, we're, I think we're going to wait with the question doing. Um, yeah, just attack with our Merc died. Seven damage in. Very nice. If you take the initiative, which is relevant. And we actually want to go for the trap thing. So I don't play any basics now. Sure. Uh, yeah, that's it. So we can question Druid for something in this turn. Oh, let's actually make the chat sticky. There we go. Forgot that part. Okay, looking pretty decent. He needs a removal. And even if he gets that, we also had the question to it. So. Let's see, Chromox. I guess we just respond with. Uh, is there any one drop? I guess a lightning bolt makes sense. So let's seek the beast. Or maybe we can counter the Chromox. Probably not necessary. But hey, we have a daze and a brainstorm. That's nice. I think we actually did shuffle the green mana away because of the, the island thing. Yeah. Okay. Chromox is fine. And we can actually still daze, so. Which is good. If it attacks with Kiki Jiki, we're probably just gonna blow with block with Bowmaster. Uh, he still has the treasure token. Uh, we can brainstorm here. Uh, yeah, that should work. We can double days. That's actually very good. Let's do that. Um, yeah, that's great. It only has a treasure token, right? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> that, that's really great. Okay. He needs to sacrifice a treasure token. And then we just do it again. Doesn't really matter what we return. That should work, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, great start, great start. A little sloppy in the beginning, but... We came out on top. Whew, so okay, let's see. Uh, this is destroy our creature, right? Okay, that makes sense. Not sure about the meltdown, price of progress, good work. What do you guys think for sideboard options? Don't really know actually. Um, Merktide can be a bit slow maybe. It actually ends the game quick, so that was something. Hmm. So this does make sense. Brazen Borer isn't that good, I think. Is it only Brazen Borer for a Milton Collapse? Um, Price of Progress, cool work. I don't really know, actually. Forced Gation, just a bunch of creatures, right? So. Rise of Progress could be interesting. So this all makes sense. Hmm, can I remove a preordain for Prize of Progress? Does that matter? Let, let's try that. It's a bit of a test here. Uh, yeah, I think that's correct. Let's go. 
Okay, so we won the first game. Let's see if we can win the second one as well. Two. The bolt can be good. He starts, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I guess we are gonna mulligan this. Ho! Oh, a little lucky, unlucky there. Then <laughs> the previous one was better. If I had a land, that's actually decent with all these bolts. Oh, the opponent actually also mulligans to six, so that's something. Okay, he... I'm gonna need to mulligan this. There's no land, right? Yeah. Whew, this is actually really good. I'm gonna keep this. We don't need to bubble. And I... Uh, probably also not the days. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't that ideal. So we do need the creature. The bolt can be good um, if he gets the the three toughness dude. So I guess kick the days. Yeah, days can also still work. I guess we kick the lightning bolt and we just counter whatever he plays. Yeah. He at least went to six, so uh, we can counter and then play Pond. Ah, oh, damn it. No, if he goes to the three toughness dude, then we're screwed over. Okay. He didn't do anything scary turn one, which is rare, I think. Uh, we're just going to play this one. Ponder. So we're searching for... Uh, not really this, right? Bubble Merc and Merc died. Nah, that will take too long. Ha, ah, still got a bubble, sure. I'm gonna wait. I like the additional draw. There's no chance. There is a small chance that oh, there's actually a Fable Nero Breaker. That is not a human, so... A Goblin Shama, we can counter that. Okay, pass the turn. Draw additional card. At least we got enough lands. So we can counter something. Hopefully we can daze it. Uh, yeah, sure. And then we have a Bowmaster to steal the initiative if he does something with initiative. Okay, so we probably can't counter anything here. That is a human, right? Okay, sure. Um, yeah. Nice one for him. Yeah, it's initiative. Uh, this is second game. We won the first, but a little of a not the greatest of starts. So he does have the Kiki Jiki as well, and a mountain. Oh, actually, yeah, the mountain. He searched for the mountain. Okay. Okay. Not sure if he can recover from this double bowmaster. At least we can steal initiative back. I think. And we can still counter something, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we just go Bone Master Party. Maybe we can block with the token as 2 2 and then block. Nah, okay. Yeah, we need to steal the initiative quickly. So we are gonna do that by just Bone Master him. But he's, he's going for it, so I'm not sure if he can win this one. Uh, that's n that's also a human. Annoying. Uh, yeah, was, uh, I guess we're done, right? Uh, no, we can't do anything about that. Double initiative, dudes. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is really helping him. He's already going to trap. Sure. 
Now we can't even really steal the initiative here, I think. Two initiative dudes, that's great for him, not for me. In this case we call an ambulance, but for me, <laughs> not for him. Uh, is there a point on blocking? No, I don't think so. Because we can maybe do something with... Yeah, there's, there's no... I guess we're going to scoop very soon. We are going to play Bowmaster now. Yeah. I guess we can maybe make a tree uh, so we can shoot and block with a 2-2 token. That's the idea. To kill this one and maybe we find an answer for that one. That Molten Collapse could actually kill this. That would be a great top deck actually, Molten Collapse here. Okay, we can still search for it, I think. Um, yeah, let's search. Actually, I want more red than black, I think. Basically a four card combo. Yeah, this, this, I guess, let's see what this brainstorm does. If we find Molten Collapse, we can actually, uh, it's something. Uh, so, we can kill this cavern dude, but he, he already did the trap, so he only has a draw. Okay, well let, let, let's not forfeit this too quickly. Um, I, ah, now it's, now it's bad that I actually tapped the rat, or else it was bold and DRC, which is actually... That would be great, actually. Ah, oh, that's that's a shame. Um, so I guess we're still going for the bowmaster route here. Um, and we are gonna shuffle here. I go to one then, right? I guess there's no point in playing anymore. Uh, let's put the counter spells back. So the idea is that I Bowmaster shoot him, block with a two to token and kill it. And I guess we just need to kill this as well with a with a but it's protect from creatures, right? Yeah, I guess there's no point. Um so I'll fetch and I go to seven. It also get, gets, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Let's save some time here. Okay, one, one, let's continue. Um, yeah, I also need to save a bit of time because I was on 11 minutes. So I only sideboarded in a Molten Collapse for uh, a Brazen Borer and a Price of Progress for a Preordain. I'm not sure about this. I think this doesn't really make sense. Um, the Pyrdain is too, too slow, I think. Uh, the Price of Progress is too, too slow, I think. Okay, I guess he just got lucky and we couldn't counter it because he had the right hand. That's how it goes sometimes. That's totally fine. Uh, I guess we'll keep it like this. I don't really force a negation to... Nah, I think it's fine. We don't have that much against them. What do you guys think? Anything else I could sideboard? Yeah, Hydro can get his... Uh, that actually makes sense. Yeah, I can remove the Preordain again. I think that's fine. It's at least a good cantrip there. I guess we keep it like this. We can Hydro Blast this... Uh, Red initiative, dude. Okay, let's go. At least we we start, so... Uh, and it's 1-1, one, one, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Kill a creature, count or something. Yeah, we keep this. Ponder, turn 1. Hopefully we get something, but we can answer his annoying stuff at least. Let's go. We just need to threat, and then we're good. Wasteland is also very good if he goes to the cavern thing again. 
Cavern of Souls. Souls, he didn't fetch there. Uh, didn't uh, mulligan there, okay. Yeah, and if we don't find anything, we can actually... Yeah, Wasteland is important, that's very true. Let's go for a Wasteland. Okay, we didn't get one. They did have Fable, actually. Yeah, I did see a Fable. So we can get a Bowmaster. How good is Bowmaster against him? Not that good, right? Uh, I guess we're going to shuffle this. Yeah, we're going to shuffle this. Well, hopefully they don't get the Cavern of Souls here. He did get the Cavern of Souls. Well, we got the Molten Collapse, so... Uh, okay, didn't play anything here. Uh, so let's brainstorm. If you get a Wasteland, we can Wasteland it. If not, then uh, we can fetch away here. Okay, we can go for Merc Tide. Um, so many counter spells. I guess those aren't that good anymore. Okay, let's shuffle that away. Play Ponder. So are we going for black? I think so, because we have the Molten Collapse. Play Ponder this turn. So, um, ah, there we, there we go. Nice, okay. Um, tropical at the bottom. I guess we draw Bowmaster now. Okay, so we can answer his creature and then Wasteland the thing. And we can maybe counter something. Okay, nine minutes. Yeah, we, we're doing decent here. Uh, not gonna counter the Chromox here. Molten Collapse Wasteland, that's where we're going for. Uh, yeah, can't do anything about that. But. We are prepared here. So wasting the cavern and molten collapse the dungeon the seasoned dungeoneer. I think that's a decent uh, plan here. And then we just murk tide for the win. Because let's read again destroy target creature or planeswalker. Who actually with a fetch we can uh, even kill the crow mox. Well, with, with Molten Collapse, we can uh, kill this and actually uh, kill the Chrome Mox as well. So I think we're still good here. So let's... Uh, the Wasteland, there we go. Sacrifice, destroy this. Now the Molten Collapse works. And now, in theory, let's see if it works. We can kill the Seasoned Engineer. Let's do this correctly. Yeah, let's do both to so kill this and kill this. Bam. There we go. Easy. And now we're just going to finish it with Merc Tide. Hopefully. I think that's really good, right? Uh, Merc Tide is actually already live, so yeah, we just go Merc Tide and still have count spells up to protect the Merc Tide. Yeah, Molten Collapse, really Molten Collapsed him there. He is scrying. Uh, time is also a bit of an issue, eight minutes. He's, yeah. We played really slow this game, but eight minutes is, is enough to still win here, I think, to at least finish the game. He's crying 
quite a long time. So the tactic is Merc Tide and, uh, count and protect it with uh, Force Will. And it is actually uh, a 7-7 seven, seven already, so that's good. Uh, are we going to fetch? Uh, we can just play it, right? Yeah. Let's play Merc Tide, remove four spells in the land. So if Council Backup and actually a Bowmaster as well. Okay, three attacks. Let's go. Oh, that actually is true. It this it gives me additional, uh, like a, a quicker attack. But hopefully we can uh, protect the Merktide with a Force of Will here. That's the idea. So he has three mana, so he can do the, the Fable thing. Because if it takes too long, then he can recover again. So it's a bit of a more aggressive approach. But we have the Force of Will to protect the Merktide. And then we can bowmaster bow him. Yeah, that, that is true, actually. So this is a bit of a game, but it's an additional 7 damage. So let's see if it uh, paid out. Maybe we did it incorrect here, because he actually is going to do something here. Uh, annoying, but okay. We hit harder, I think. Hmm, we can kill the, the skeleton at least. With a bowmaster. Okay. Still decent here. Decent shape. Um, we'll just attack. Uh, kill block, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so we kill the token with the bowmaster. Yeah, so we do get additional seven damage, uh, but if it get destroyed, then this line wasn't that good. But this is fine, I think. We steal initiative. Sure, we're not gonna find anything and pass the turn. We shoot this. And we can block this one, right? Because it gets protection from creatures. Okay, let's kill the token. We can try to block the season engineer, but I don't think it works. Broadside Bombardier. Okay. At least we can counter that. So I can block this, right? Because the protection from creatures. Yeah, I know that. Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll take the damage. Then he takes nine damage back. He is going to do this. Uh, it's, it's bad. Okay. Is he going one deeper? Yeah. This could mean that he steals the game here. Is it coming into play? Put a creature card among them. Yeah, that's 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 annoying. Fury. We can't counter that, right? No, we can't counter that because of yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. think maybe we're still gonna lose this let's see well we can um, 10 damage no, maybe we're good
So if we attack, uh, we need to attack two more turns. He does 10 damage. So in theory, we could survive this. There's nothing we can, we can do, right? Hopefully he doesn't have the, the remove the Merc Tide or else we don't. Oh, pfft, you're right, the double strike. Uh, ah, damn it. Yeah, you, you got... Uh, could we do something different here? I'm not sure. So if we attack, so we can block this. Do we need to block this then? I guess we are, right? Because then actually... Uh, I forgot the double strike here. So I guess we need to just block this. Uh, that's bad. But then my dude dies as well, right? I don't think there's any chance to win here anymore. Because if I attack, it's not lethal. You can't pro. I guess we'll just uh, pass the turn. At least attacking doesn't matter here. We need to block. Yeah, that's something we can go for. Uh... Hmm, I guess we're gonna lose the first one. I'm not sure if I did anything wrong. Swords to Plosha, at least we can counter that. Oh, actually, uh, no, we don't have five mana, so let's. At least we protect the Merc out here. Let's see what he gets protection. Probably the Fury, right? And then we need to get the Hydro Blast. That would be great. Uh, so what does he give protection? Uh, let's see. Well, one counter, sure. Still don't know what he gives protection here. We'll just click, see what happens. Oh, okay, that one has protection, so... Yeah, if you block Fury, that, yeah. My dude dies and this doesn't, right? Because he has double strike. Oh. Okay. So Ponder is decent here. Maybe we can get something. Not sure what actually, because he has protection from creatures. Let's see. Um, <laughs> play another Merc Tide. That doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay. There's no... Well... Hmm. Maybe it was better to play the Merc Tide there. Okay. Yeah, I guess there's no... So if I played the Merc Tide, he attacks me, I attack him back, and then I'm still not gonna win. Okay. I guess this is done. He does what he needs to do with his initiative deck. Probably did some things incorrect, but yeah. And he's gonna trap me as well, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no point in playing anymore. Okay, good game. Well, at least we won one, but. Okay, first loss in. Let's see if we can improve this result. And we're back. So, actually won the die roll again. Yeah, I kind of felt that he. Um, were you guys saying that he had drawn the nuts two times? At least he drew good, so yeah. I wanna play first. Hey, it's from side. Welcome, welcome. I actually lost the first game against Initiative, so yeah. It is what it is. So this is decent, right? 
Double DRC, Bold Wasteland, yeah. I'm actually... We don't have any counter spells, so hopefully that doesn't screw us over, but let's... Actually, the Wasteland Volcanic Island can actually trigger the Seek the Beast as well, so... Decent, decent. Then there's Nutty. Let's see how nutty it is. And try to play quick. And not focus too much on the chat, what I usually do. Okay, that's a quick turn one. Yeah, if there's just a combo deck, we're screwed. If not, then actually it is quite good. Okay, Bloodstained Mire could be Scam. I reanimate probably based on this. Grief. Uh, yeah, sure. This is probably reanimate. Hey, Hef, yeah, how are you doing? I'm welcome in the house. This our box is stream house. We're getting griefed, so. Uh, <laughs> this is probably reanimate taking over turn one, uh, winning game one. Not sure what other decks play Badlands here. Yeah, well, it's good for him. <laughs> Lightning Bolt, sure. Okay. He is probably animate, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Well, the Wasteland does something against uh, that deck then, maybe. Slow him down just a bit. Okay. A daze or something would be nice. Uh, I'll guess we ponder, get a trigger, and then wasteland him. To slow him down just a bit. Maybe is it so? Uh, always yield for this one. So any form of counter spell. Okay, that's not it. Three cards to look. Counterspell, Days Force of Will. No, let's shuffle this. Still kind of sucks that we don't hit lands here, but I guess we need to shuffle this. Bolt. Okay, well, we're going to wasteland him. Are we going to wasteland him? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, that is reanimate, sure. Yeah, days would be really good, but we didn't hit that. So hopefully it's something like Exhume, so that we get one extra turn. Because this slows him down just a bit. Archon of Cruelty, yeah. That is reanimate. Okay, the hand was good, but not against reanimate. Another high risk deck. First initiative, now this. Hopefully he's stuck on lands. That he doesn't have lands, I mean. Okay, sure. Did we slow him enough? Or is he just gonna reanimate the, the cruelty? Arcan of cruelty. Uh, yeah, okay, done. There is nothing we can do, right? Okay. At least we give him not that much information here. <laughs> he did have to had to re had to reanimate. Okay, so this destroy a creature. That's good. Grave Digger's Cage is good. Search calls are good. Force negation are good. Uh, I think that's it. So let's remove the older bolts. Um, the mo you mean with Molten Collapse? Uh, yeah, okay, I, I kind of see there that Hydro Blast, yes, the um, Fate is looting, right? We can go there. So Merc Tide is too slow, usually, so... 
An early heat works, maybe. Show and tell if they do that. Mm, I guess we kick the other Merc Titan. Add a Pyroblast to catch him off guard on that. Something like this then. So we should be a bit more favored um, on the on the when we sideboard. Okay. I do like what Taze were saying because we do increase the blue count here. Yeah, that makes sense. This is quite slow, actually. Uh, oh, we need to actually add one more card. Um, so what could that be? Another Druid. Additional Pyroblast. I'm not sure if he goes to the show and tell route. And Pyroblast can be pretty dead, actually, then. Still not sure about Pyroblast, actually. I guess we keep it in for the random show and tell. Okay, let's go. I would definitely like to play first. Counter spells, so we have a daze. And no other cool stuff, so we are gonna shuffle this. There we go. Turn one, Grave Digger's Cage. Nice. And a surgical even. Uh, in that case, I guess we go Dragon Rage Chandler first. Now we, we still need Grace Digger's Cage because of the reanimate spells, the discard spells. We're gonna keep this. I guess we're gonna kick one of the Ponders. Okay, turn one, Cage. And then if he discards, then he probably discards the Surgical. Yeah. Looks good. I think my music just died for some reason. Not sure what happened there. All right. Pre-combat. Okay, let's just jam the cage. Johnny Cage or Nicholas Cage or Grave Digger's Cage. Oh, okay. That's that's a quick game. <laughs> Got him. Easy. Okay, continue. Uh, Nikola Tesla. Oh, Nikola Tesla. It's like the Nico, Nikola Tesla. Hello there to you as well. I guess we keep as is, right? Yeah, that actually that does give that away. So let's go. We can have one random lightning bolt to close the game. Um... Molten Collapse, not sure. I guess the Questing Druid then again. And only he could actually catch um, the, the... Yeah, we'll keep it, so yeah, okay. Blurp. Okay, let's see if we can do that again. Okay. <laughs> This is a crazy hand. Are we gonna keep this? I think we are, right? We need to keep this. Um, I was waiting what you guys are thinking, but I think we need to keep this, right? It's a bit weird, but we know the matchup, so. <laughs> this hand makes me feel safe, yeah. So if he discards turn one, he just gets one surgical. And that's it. If he double discards, then hopefully the daisies do something here. Ah, uh, it's slow, that's true. 
We need some sort of creature, anything. No more lands at least. Let's hope we don't get a land. Merktide, okay, we'll just go for Merktide. Yeah, <laughs> that actually makes sense. So the daisies are alive. Okay, I guess Merktide is the, is the go-to. He didn't have a scary turn one, so that's good. Hopefully he can catch something with this. Uh, is he going to show and tell now? Could be. That he did change to show and tell here. Okay, sure. Well, now the double days is live. Need some small creature or a cantrip. Nice, that's actually really good. Okay, uh, yeah, we're cruising, right? Seek the beast and all good. Okay. I guess these are really good uh, top decks there. He isn't doing anything, so let's seek the beast. Uh, are we going for black over green here, actually? Um, I guess, um, I guess green, because then we play Questing Druid. Not sure if that's correct. Okay, let's see what we get with Seek the Beast. Uh, brainstorm land, okay, that's fine. The brainstorm is good here. We don't have any fetch. Which is... Okay, we'll just uh, play Questing Druid and then play the brainstorm. We can, yeah, we need to play the brainstorm else it's going away. This hand is looking great, man. I think I think we're, we're we're golden here. So we do need to play the brainstorm now, or else it goes away. Ah, actually, did I play a land from my hand? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Mistake there. Okay. Uh, not ideal, but okay, sure. <laughs> I missed the land there. Don't think I will be punished too much about for that. Even got the Hydroblast here. Uh, double Merktide is a bit much. Double. Nah, probably won't matter, but it's uh, not the cleanest play here. So, Pyroblast. Um, we can also just kill the land here, maybe. But we want to shuffle. Do we want to shuffle? We can do this and actually play the land and not shuffle. Oh, actually play the land already, right? So, okay. Uh, pass the turn. Okay, that wasn't that that uh, that clean, but f fine. So we actually put... Um, we can't do anything. Okay. So we got double count spell and double surgical. I'm not sure what he's up to. I think we're safe. Little mistake there with the land drop that I missed. Well, the question dude had a land actually. I think he's stuck, so that's good for us. Um, are we, uh, we need to actually get a clock, right? So let's see if we fetch, it's five. It's four, five, six, seven. We can just cast the Merc Tide. We do shuffle the other Merc Tide away, but I think it's fine. Okay, we need this in the graveyard. We just get an underground sea. Actually, yeah, fine. Four, five, six. We want to keep one blue open at least, so... Blue, blue, blue. Oh, actually, no, so I cannot count, so there we go. I'm 
So we got an initial trigger for the Questing Druid. Attack for three. Yeah, Merk Merk would help if he discard me uh, indeed. So we still got a bunch of counterspells and surgical, so... And he is slow, so... I guess we're good here. Yeah, it looks like this is over, but let's see. We kind of built a wall here. Uh, sure. I'm not sure what he's going to do. So we just fetched and that's it. Okay, cool. Okay. I think we're safe here. There comes the discard. One red and a fetch. What's this? Stronghold Gambit. I know they're from Nemesis. Each. The owner of each creature card revealed this way with the lowest. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with this. Each player chooses a card in their hand. Okay, check. Then each player reveals their chosen card. Okay. The owner of each creature card will feel this way with the lowest mana. Well, I don't have any creatures anyway, so I need to count this, right? Because he shows a big creature and I don't have anything, so. Uh, yeah, let's. I'll guess I'll Hydroblast this. Uh, yeah, because the double days are actually relevant here. Because I can still daze two times in his turn if he does something crazy. Okay, that's an additional counter for our questing druid. Five cards in hand. I guess we got another attack here. Still no surgical target. So... <laughs> oh, so sad. We even got the cage here. Get caged, my friend. Yeah, now I actually draw the nuts. Can I kill him? Let's see. Okay, what he's... Okay, got him. Okay, got our first win in. And actually, your play with surgical, surgical days, days to get four triggers is actually really funny. Uh, okay, let's go to the third leak. We actually won the die roll again, three times in a row. Doing good here. Uh, yeah, good hand, good hand. Definitely gonna keep this. Um, so we get a counter spell backup, Merc Tide, Brainstorm, all the fun stuff. Looking good. This is the mirror. This is the mirror. Delver is fine. We are gonna play a wasteland. But first play a DRC. Are we gonna trade with this Delver? Uh, let's try so we have another one as well in that case actually playing the wasteland there wasn't that good usually the, the delver is less but i have an additional uh, drc so i guess this is fine okay sure my dude dies so is his uh, play a DRC to protect against days. Then I'll wasteland him out. Okay, I think that's a decent start. That's a good start, actually.
Grixis, probably Ponder is fine. Okay, we try to just play as Grixis as well, and then surprise him with a Questing Druid. Or I guess the other way around is better. To surprise him with a Bowmaster. So it's better to show that we are Rug Delver. And maybe you can surprise him with a Bowmaster. And actually the bot is uh, talking about one of our sponsors, Rage Quit. Um, it's a Dutch game company. They released their second game uh, whew, quite some time ago actually. It's called Descender and their first game is um, Action Inc. Check them out on Steam. They're great guys. Okay, let's focus on the game again. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Looking all good. I am going to play Brainstorm now because I'm afraid of Bowmaster. And we can actually fetch stuff away as well. So, um, Bubble, I guess we keep the bubble. Because we just want to make it a tree tree. And we actually are going to achieve that. So that's good. So two cards back and we got to shuffle it away. One Merc Tide, I think. And I guess the land. Yeah. Okay, cool. Are we going to shuffle it? I... There's no need to shuffle that, right? So the land is on top. Do we want an additional Merc Tide? I guess we want this land, do we? He does play Wasteland, so I guess we'll play it safe and draw this and then fetch the Merc that away later. Uh, okay, we'll keep this on top because I think we do want that land actually. Put this on him to get a 3 3. Ooh, he's got a Lightning Bolt. Okay, we can protect uh, our dude here. It doesn't have red as well, so. Yeah, I think we're still good. So we're gonna draw a land and then we're gonna fetch the Merc that away. Three damage in. I want the land. And then end of turn we need to fetch. Because I don't, do we want an additional Merc Tide? Well, depends, we can actually use Do we want to protect this and then I guess we do? Or do you want to protect the Merc Tide? Next turn it's gonna be Merc Tide, so uh Okay, let's think. Uh, we got an additional Merc Tide coming up so we can Force of Will this. The Merc is really important. I think it's even more important than this. I guess we're gonna let this resolve. Uh, do we have enough? We have only one spell. Ah, this sucks. Um, So Merc is important, but Merc isn't that big actually. We're gonna counter this. Uh, I guess with the Merc Tide. Yeah. And then we're not gonna put the Merc Tide at the graveyard. We have an additional spell. So the Merc Tide is at least a bit bigger. And maybe we can protect our DRC. If you play Spell Pierce, we can daze it actually. Okay, I'm not sure if that was correct because Merc Tide is more important. But we can at least protect a Merc Tide around a daze. So, let's hope for the best. Uh, it's, yeah. Five cards, two spells. Uh, let's first attack. <laughs> Don't forget that. If the Merc Tide sticks, we're good. Mm. Are we going to show that we are uh, black? I'll, I'm going to take a risk and we just... 
Not showing him anything. Oh, actually, uh, that fetch wasn't really necessary there. I'm not gonna try to... Uh, okay, this may be wrong, but at least I'm not giving him information. Okay, that was a bit of a, a sloppy play there. Yeah, that fetch wasn't necessary. Okay. So we miss instant. So hopefully the daze does something here. Hmm. Merc at least sticks. So that is actually really good. So we need a land and we got the instant here. So he doesn't do anything. Okay, then it's good. Can trip would be nice. Oh, he does now. Petty theft. Uh, I am going to daze this, I think. Uh, yeah. For the trigger and um, so that at least his fetch is gone. Because I don't think. Uh, undo. Let's like. Okay, so we get additional trigger. He is of course going to pay for it. So we did get the fetch away. Um, hopefully we make it a 3-3 three -three again. Uh, yeah, we can just put that away. Now it's a 3-3. Three -three. Okay. Sure. Okay, okay. Kind of works around. Could be that we get screwed over because we didn't reveal any... Um, that we don't have any other color lands, but let's see. Uh, I don't need the mana. Ooh, Wasteland is good here. So what are we going to Wasteland? We are going to go Wasteland Black, and then we can just play the Merkted again. I think we're still good. First attack with the DRC, of course. Oh, I kind of... Uh, yeah, that was a mistake. Because if I hit a daze now, I'm screwed. Hmm. Yeah, that was a mistake. Are we going to play in a daze here? Um, if he dazes himself, it slows him down even more. Oh, that's a mistake. Are we just gonna wait? Can I play a land? Are we played the wasteland, right? So wasteland, then play Merktide, then yeah, okay. Yeah, I will wait. Because if he dazes, then the, yeah. So we, if we played it correctly, we had a Merktide. But actually, it's only a four-four, and we lose to toughness. So I'm not sure is, if the Merktide is even that good at the moment. This is better. Okay, we'll just keep it at this because we can counter. Just attack three more times. Also not gonna play the land here, I think. No, we'll just uh, attack three more times here. Or attack and then play Merktide. Let's see what he's up to. Uh, are we going to counter this? I think we are. Get an additional trigger. It's a bit scary actually, because it actually is, you can bolt this quite easily, of course. Playing the, ah, if I play, I think the, attacking this and the, uh, let the brazen borrower die. He actually, ah, okay. He kind of took the game there a bit, so. Uh, yeah, that was a mistake. Because now I lose my Merc Tide. Okay. I guess we're back to zero. Ah, okay. Yeah. That was a mistake. 
at least we ate a counter spell, but uh, so let's see who can rebuild quicker. I just need some Murktide, and then it's good. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Uh, this is scary. They all want to run in a daze. I guess I'm gonna wait. But at least we have we have something. So we need a land or a cantrip or something. Actually, based on the force of will, I, had, I actually had ma mana open. So yeah, you can still have a daze there. I guess we just need a land. Or a questing druid. So he has one card in his hand. If that's a daze, you can still a questing druid and continue. If the Murktide survives, it's one, two, it's a five, five. I guess we're questing druid. I still don't want to run in a daze here. Maybe I'm playing too overprotective, but let's see what the Delver does. It flips on a Ponder, okay. So he is slowly coming back. Let's question do it. You could actually uh, daze this. And then we have a Murktide as a backup plan. He didn't have the daze there, okay. Don't. I need to for don't forget that I actually have a lander. Uh, yeah, I'll take the damage. Ponder is fine. Okay, he is slowly taking the game back, but we're not dead yet. What is he doing here? Not a ponder, sure. So we play Murktide, Underground Sea Murktide to protect against Days, and we have a Preordain as well. Miss Bowmaster, probably. No, we don't have a Preordain because it's still a draw, right? Yeah. Ooh, Murktide. Uh, he's taking over the game because of the mistake I made. Uh, I guess we're gonna... Let's see. Preordain. Then we have one, two... Yeah. Okay. That sucks. But let's see. Um, so he doesn't have any cards in hand. So he didn't have the days there, actually. Um, Preordain first. Do we want another question, Druid? Mm. This list is actually playing a Brazen Barrer. I think that's the, the way to go. So, are playing Questing Druid. Um, so we could draw this. Nah, I think this is all too slow now. So I guess we need a bolt or something. Um, bolt would be good. Wasteland, doesn't matter there. Okay, let's... Um, bubble doesn't really add anything here. You can still just cast it to see what he's going to do. Ponder as well. Okay. Merc died. pre -ordain. The annoying thing is our Merc died is a bit smaller than his. Hmm, we can at least kill the Delver here. Uh, 
that. Kind of shame that it's not a 7 7, or else uh, we could actually attack for lethal here. Bolt. Okay, that's good. So, what do we need? We need uh, an incender, uh, another ponder. He's really good at drawing his ponders. Okay, we're not dead yet. There is still a chance. Yeah, that was. So, if he didn't counter there. That will be better. When he um, when he cast the brazen barrier there. So yeah, of course that makes sense. Yeah, I guess we'll take it. So a bolt or a cantrip or anything. Uh, another Merc Tide. Okay, uh, we lost there. We can't do anything here, can we? Uh, okay, let's try at least. DRC, can we make it a 3-3? Hopefully with Brainstorm. Sorcery, that is good enough, right? Yeah, put that in the graveyard. Okay, so we got a tree tree. Uh, so if you got a bolt, there is a chance. Uh, Bowmaster, does Bowmaster do anything here? I don't really think. Everything is flying anyway, right? So the Bowmaster doesn't do anything here. Okay, so we can block the Delver. We can kill the Merktite and we get nine. So we just need to get a Bolt here. We don't, so uh, again, he attacks with everything. Uh, we kill the... Hmm, okay. I guess we do it like this. Play this. Maybe we can surprise him with uh, with the bowmaster. So block this, kill this, uh, take four, go to one. Oh, that I can't even fetch here. Now we're done for. Well, no. <laughs> I guess we'll just concede. No, there's no... Uh, let's see, because I need to save some time as well, because I'm playing quite slow again. Ah, oh, that's a shame. There was one mistake that I made. It wasn't worth to... Um... Yeah. All right. Still fine, I think. Maybe he doesn't attack with everything. He doesn't attack. Really. Yeah, of course, yeah, this suicide. Okay, we do get an additional turn then. Do we know about that? Oh, we couldn't shuffle, right? So uh, in this case, this dies. Okay, yeah, he got me. Okay. Made one counter error there and that took the game. Um, this does work. Carpet is nice. Okay, um, I'll start, so I'll remove the forces. Um, what do I remove as well? We're also behind on time, so even if I win this, I'm probably gonna lose on time. The preordain, maybe? Hydroblast is good as well, actually. We can kill the preordain. Bubbles are good, right? So.
I'm not sure is that the only thing I can do. I yeah, kind of sucks that bubbles are. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any other option. Let's go. Well, hopefully. So 11 minutes. Hopefully we can do this quick. We're eight minutes behind. Uh, not super great. Pyro blast days. Hopefully the brain some does something. So let's bubble ourselves, see if we want to fetch or not. Uh, yeah, we want to fetch there. Uh, sure. We just need a small threat. Okay, fine as well. Ooh, wasteland. So you go aggressively to wasteland. Then we are going to brainstorm here. Okay, more lands, sure. Um, yeah, it's a, I lo lose in a tournament uh, like a double turn uh, wasteland, uh, but this this case didn't really help for him. So uh, let's see. Um, so I guess we want all this stuff. Yeah, so let's do it like this. Yeah, actually this isn't ideal because I don't want to shuffle here because that's actually, okay, that was a mistake. Because there's not a land on top of this. So yeah, okay, I can daze here. Whatever he does, I'm not gonna taste. Uh, yeah, that will be a good taste, but it's fine. They also sent me back a bit, so now um, I got my land. Yeah, mistake. Um, am I going to bolt this? Or I want to play Questing Druid first. I guess we bolt this right away. Am I? He also has Bowmasters. You like removing threats. Okay, I'll, I'll follow your guidance then. We still got Pyroblast left. And still nine minutes, so we're probably gonna lose from the clock. Okay, there's a day's target. And I think Murktide is almost live. Counterbalance. So if we can close this quick, then we have a chance. We're doing pretty well. More lands. Do we want to play, I guess, Question Druid, and then next turn, uh, Merc Tide. Like Seek the Beast, uh, I mean. Wasteland again. Okay, let's Seek the Beast. Um, need to play as quick as possible. And then next turn, Merc Tide with a Pyroblast up. Questing the Crab of the Flowers, nice, okay. Sure. Well, we gotta fetch for green then. And play Merc Tide in the second main phase.
Let's go green. Tropical Island, play carpet. Now we can play Murktide with indeed a Pyroblast up. Can we actually? We can just uh, getting the Druid. Maybe it makes sense indeed. Because I, uh, yeah, that, okay, let's do that. Um, so in the second main phase, we're going to play the Druid. How does this even work? Yes, yeah, so let's go green. Play the questing druid as a questing druid. Um, if he bow masters, we can bolt to make it a, a two two, I guess. Um, yeah, okay. It's a bit of a slow turn, but let's continue there. He is going to Bowmaster. I can bolt him then, I guess. Um, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, before the damage, it actually makes sense. Yeah, a response on the on the shoot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that that's better. It was yeah, so it needs to be, come into play before uh, it triggers. So okay, so I can still respond on it, right? Bolt the bow. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna respond, and actually my dude survives. If he dazes this, then uh, that would suck. Oh no! <laughs> okay. At least my dude survives. We can still go Bowmaster, so it's fine. I do want to pay, but I can't. I guess we play Murktide next. He's gonna play Merc that now, right? At least we can Pyroblast it. I think we're still decent here, but time is a big issue. So whatever I do, I need to do it quick or else I'm gonna lose. Because I was really slow again. Bundler is fine. Yeah, I think I'm still going to lose even if I'm going to win this game. Seven minutes. That kind of sucks. Or I can play really quick. See how that works. So something I need to learn, so... Okay, sure. So just gonna bolt my, yeah, sure. Okay, you got it. Take my turn, I'll first take the damage. Um, uh, do you want to do it now? So if I get, I guess just two blue and I can just cast hard cast Murktide. Okay. 
we can actually um, play a creature here or seek the beast. I guess we're going to seek the beast first. Okay, that's it. Wasteland. Mm, it's really a shame of the time because uh, this match still feels kind of good <laughs> at the moment. Okay, let's seek the beast. We need red for that. Oh, undo. This is taking valuable time. Ah, oh, this guy. Uh, yeah, I can do anything about that. That works. We still got some creatures to go. Okay, cool. So we can pay a bunch of questing druids. Uh, I guess green then. Play Questing Druid. Play another Questing Druid. Uh, we want red up, I think. Bolt is Bowmaster. No. Yeah, not gonna win this, I think. Yeah, and the brazen will die now. So maybe it was better to bounce a token there. Well, a uh, question group can be big really quick, so let's hope it survives at least one more round. Okay, we can answer that. Yeah, I guess the line with the with the bounce was better. You're right, uh, death not us. Definitely not us. Because just wasting a card is always not ideal. Okay, but we can. Maybe do something here. Yeah, the time pressure is also a thing. So even yeah, even if I win this, I'm not gonna win this. Uh, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do it in my second upkeep. But we'll just keep on playing. Uh, okay, we're not gonna do it now. So let's ponder first. Maybe get some counter spells. Okay, now we are gonna pyroblast this. We can still play around days. And we can actually day something back here. Okay, sure. He does of course get a... <laughs> We're not gonna draw a brainstorm by the way. A bolt, another bowmaster. Okay, sure. Ah, that's actually good. We're still gonna maybe win this one, but uh, sure, because we can actually just kill his bowmaster. 
Um, we are going to attack, actually. Oh, did I? Okay, that was weird. Uh, okay. I skipped the attack phase. That's been a while. Okay. Yeah. Time pressure. It doesn't really matter anymore. Let's go for black. Can also forfeit this game. So I think I'm gonna win this one, even with that skip attack there. But the time is a is a thing. Lightning bolt. Uh, yeah, sure. Can do anything about that. The days does boost my dude, but yeah. Mark that Delta. I'll just attack and there's no carpet of flower needed here. He could bow master again, then we can uh yeah carpet is really good. Not gonna use carpet. Okay, there's still a little chance that I can win this, but then uh, I'm gonna forfeit because three minutes is too slow. Oh well. I'm gonna take the tree. Yeah, it's kind of a shame, but uh, I'm not gonna use it now. play oh actually I'm not gonna play a brainstorm uh, <laughs> we're just gonna attack there's no real reason to play a brainstorm here so you can bow master me don't want that let's at least win this game Ah, the clock, the MTGO clock. I did lose more matches because of it. So in, in a way, I kind of hope that he just wins here. So it doesn't, doesn't feel that bad. Um, brainstorm in response. Uh, two cards back. Um, actually, I, I can make red with the carpets. Well, I'm not sure we can do anything about that. Well, it's not that big, actually. Could have also just dazed that, actually, to get additional trigger. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna win this. Time pressure is a bit of a thing. Maybe I can do something now. Uh, let's go red. That's true. Maybe we can still win this. <laughs> and then, yeah, okay. And it's still also just a learning thing, right? It is my 20th league, so I'm not a total beginner anymore, but it's still quite hard. Would be cool if I at least win this one. Uh, play the other one. Oh yeah. How do you yield for that thing? Uh, okay, uh, yeah, sure. I'll attack with just this one and pass everything. I actually still play the wasteland here. Doesn't matter. I'll just uh, 
<laughs> I have a really nice board here, but... A bolt to finish it. Uh, sure, uh, also, all, yeah. Don't want to use it. Attack with everything. I don't even know how to do that. I'll just click again. Ooh. Sure that works. I guess we just play it again then. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do that. Time, time. <laughs> yes, red. Seek the beast, 30 seconds left. Pay one, why do you want to... Uh, yeah. uh, always yield, sure. So many triggers, I want this, yeah. No. Yeah, we are definitely dead to clock. Okay, uh, play this on him. No. <laughs> well, we tried, we tried. He's going to one, put this in the graveyard. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Murktai would actually die there. Okay, that was a nice round. And the clock kills me there. Okay. <laughs> the lines weren't that clean. Oh, well. He's on one. Maybe he's going to fetch. Okay. Okay, one win, two losses, we can still go for 3-2, so let's go for that. So, at least we, w we won the die roll four times in a row, so. Let's see if we can change this, okay. Uh, we got a counter spell at least. Bubble Bowmaster. I think it's fine enough. Let's do the bubble ourselves trick. To see if I'm going to fetch or not. Mercat on top. Uh, is that something we want? Uh, I'll guess so. Yeah, I think it's fine. Let's draw the Mercat. Yeah, that's true. Actually, use it for force. Draw the Mercat. Let's see what he's up to. I don't know. Urza. Okay, we need to get a brain, uh, a wasteland here. So I'm gonna brainstorm here. Because I want to play Bowmaster next turn. There he is, the wasteland. Easy. And a DRC even. Okay, two lands back. Okay, we got this. Play quick, play smart. Uh, play this. Wasteland his land. Okay, looking good, looking good. Okay, let's not focus too much on the chat and play the game. It's 8 cast, okay, that's fine. I have some experience to get 8, eight cast. And Bowmaster is really great against his stuff. Who are we gonna counter that? It's draw to. Uh, nah, I don't think so. Oh. Well, I didn't. <laughs> I guess we got a, at least a, a bow mess from all those triggers. So if you're gonna use the bubbles, I'm gonna bow master. And now I'm just gonna attack for one. And I'm more afraid for the 
the turtle thing, the papa thing. Uh, sure. So if you're gonna use the bubbles, I'm gonna bowmaster. If it's only just one. Or I can wait, but I probably is gonna use. So if you use one bubble, I'm not bowmastering it. Could I trick him in using another bubble? He's not using it, okay. Think he's afraid for the bowmaster. Two damage, chalice on one. Grindstone. Okay, then it's eight cast with, okay. I am going to counter that as well. Uh, yeah. Merc Tide is up soon. Um, I guess we put this in the graveyard. Yeah, because then it's actually a 3-3. Tree -tree. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, decent. That's annoying, but it is what it is. Then that force wasn't that good, actually. Okay. We can maybe still win with Merc Tide here. So end of turn, Bowmaster, and then uh, attack and Merc Tide. We can't kill the Emery here, but he even got the Painter. Hmm. Painter is toughness tree. Yeah, okay. I guess we just try to close quick, but I don't think we can. So we need an answer, we need a bolt or something for the painter combo thing. Uh, okay, so playing Merktide now doesn't really help. So he can actually, uh, so we do got one additional turn here. So I'll guess Merktide is still good then. One, only two spells. Let's first attack. Sure. So second main, we could do the Cresting Druid, at least play the land here. Cresting Druid or Merc Tide. I guess Cresting Druid is better. To maybe get a bull or something. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Painter is back. Next turn, grinds on him dead. So let's try to answer this. Got an additional trigger. So bolts, okay. Not this one. I need to get my always yield stings on as well. Hey, there we got a bolt. Okay, cool. So we're gonna bolt him. Or are we gonna bolt this? I guess we're gonna bolt this because then he can get his. Ooh, it's really annoying because he can get his grindstone as well with that. Uh, is it actually a cast? It is a cast, but yeah. Dazing doesn't matter. Okay, sure. Hopefully we're just quick enough. Uh, yeah, sure. We bolt it. And we play Merc Titan. More. So if we bolt the Emery, no, I think this is better. And only heat answers again, so sure. Guess we just keep killing the, the, the painter or something and then 
hopefully kill him. Okay, sure. Uh, day still doesn't work. Okay, the unholy heat then. So, murk tide and holy heat. Um, yeah. And holy heat is not a trigger. This does kill it as well. Ponder. Do we have enough spells? One, two. One, one. Yeah, we can put it in the graveyard. Okay. Now we attack first with everything. I think we're quick enough here. Hopefully. Second Mayflays played other Murktide. Play the Murktide, it's not another one. Uh, let's see, instant, 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 instant. Yeah, okay, that. Okay, hopefully this is enough. So he is dead next turn. He can't search for the, or can he? This goes to two, right? So he can't search for the bounce. Yeah, okay, we got him. Okay, first win in. Melt down. Let's melt everything down. Price of progress works as well, I think. Kill a creature and and yeah, okay, that's nice. Molten gets two indeed. Um, anything else? He is, in a way, a combo deck. So that is actually true. Pyroblast. Oh, uh, what did I add as well? Okay, um, Merc Tides are a bit slow here, I think. Uh, bounce, not sure about that. The Questing Druids aren't that good. Oh, uh... Okay, I guess the druids. These is our meh. I do start, but he can ac accelerate quite quick, so that's true. Daisies do sometimes work, actually, but I'll keep. I'll follow you. Um, couple of flowers, not sure. That doesn't really matter. Um, so, surgical maybe. One surgical or force negation, but it's it's just creatures, and he gets his uh, grindstone from the Urza thing anyway, right? More counter spells. Hey, Inzwalle, how are you doing? I'm doing decent, but not super great. We can maybe get a two-two here. Okay, so a few days in. Um, Uh, oh yeah. uh, I need to make a decision quick. So are we going to put the daisies back? I guess we keep it this, especially the time is uh, running. So, uh... Okay, we'll just go for this and see what happens. Yeah, in two days. Uh, is it two days? Uh, yeah, in two days the tickets will be online, so... Uh... Okay, I have my Wasteland, so I'll keep this. Is this correct? So... DRC Bubble Brainstorm goes quite deep, and a Wasteland is there. Okay. It has angles, but he starts, but... Okay. There we have our target. Oh, he just jams the Shadow Spear, sure. He's going... <laughs> this deck is so crazy. Okay, sure, 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 sure. I guess he knows that I play Bowmaster. 
Are we just blindly going to wasteland this? I guess so, because we don't, we don't want to have the... Yeah, we're gonna wasteland this. Or else we gotta get this construct and that is a problem. You are right. Just thought about it as well. Okay, let's screw him a bit over a bit, hopefully. Okay, we're doing decent on time. Three minutes behind, so that's okay-ish. Okay, challenge on one and we're screwed. Grindstone, okay. Also, not ideal, but we're not dead to grindstone, to just grindstone. Yeah, meltdown would be cool. Uh, okay. Are we going to wait for double DRC trigger or? I don't think, because we can actually draw a counter spell or something with uh, Sue. Are we going to brainstorm here actually? Now we can, even if we brainstorm, we don't can't do anything with it anyway. So we got a bubble now. <laughs> yeah, so you all wanted to go for the double, uh, not a wasteland, we keep it on top. The double trigger. It's usually better indeed. Uh, so let's... Do you want to wait? Okay, we'll just... He draws another Urza Saga. No. So we draw a Wasteland actually. So that's fine. We, we answer it. So we got a Wasteland for his other Urza. Okay. We're doing fine. I think. Oh, uh, that is bad, but we got a wasteland at least. <laughs> yeah, meltdown. We're just gonna top deck meltdown and call it a day. Okay, we're gonna wasteland this thing again. Um, Actually, I can play Brainstorm to hopefully get this. Well, we also got a Force of Will here. I guess playing... Um, yeah, playing Brainstorm to get a trigger is not ideal because when you actually can counter, counter anything. So I guess we just attack and keep the counter spell back. You actually... Oh, we Wasteland. Okay, yeah. So I'm afraid that we missed a land drop there. Battle is fine. Yeah, Molten is also a thing, that's true. Okay, his hand isn't that good, looks like. Okay, now we're just gonna jam a brainstorm into nothing to get a true tree, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna play Brainstorm um, to get a sorcery or a creature in the graveyard. Always yield to this trigger. Hey, there we go, easy. And now we got a tree tree. <laughs> At least we can clock a bit here. We still got our counter spell, so. He has only two cards in hand, so maybe this is enough. Oh, he actually gave up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> At least we're 2-2, two -two, so we can uh, go for the 3-2 here. Okay, we didn't want the die roll, so, or else we had like five die roll wins in a row, so that would be kind of crazy. Uh, the Bodhisattva that he plays, he's playing ups and depth, so, but maybe he's not. The bot is not always right. This is a decent hand, yeah. Yeah, I usually lose from depths, but let's see. And the bot is not always right, of course, but sometimes it is. We can kill Elf and then ponder for lands. Yeah, I think... I guess this is not ups and depths. Scrubland. What deck plays Scrubland? 
that attacks with black. Okay, I don't, that, that, that's fine. Then we have a reanimator, maybe. True. I guess we just ponder now then. We need lands. That's all. And we got lands. Even a wasteland. Uh, I'll guess... We'll draw the fetch and then the wasteland. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Against the combo deck, we're good. Maverick or Dentex. Hmm. Diamond is still... Depths, right? Uh, am I going to force of will his Mox Diamond? Okay, then... So I did get some advice on force willing Mox Diamonds is good, but... I guess we just need to close the game quick with a Merc Tide and... Okay, Dark Depths goes into the graveyard. Yeah, this is definitely lands. Or... Uh, yeah, just lands. Okay. Is he gonna play the enchantment that you can play? Greens and Zenith. That's for his elf. We can actually early heat that. So I don't think it's worth to counter this. Yeah, so he's gonna get the elf and we just early heat it. And there he is. I checked, it didn't have that many lands in the graveyard, so we're good here. Uh, who we can wasteland uh, the wasteland we need to keep right against that deck. So uh, uh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Because I put that on top. Okay, so I'll just an holy heat the elf. Uh, we're gonna daze that. Oh, we can daze that, right? Damn it. Because it's a split second thing, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, that's it. Yeah, the split second. Okay, so we've only, we still have uh, options. So I need to fetch because there's a land on top. Uh, I guess we fetch for green. Yeah, we'll fetch for green here. Take my turn. Okay, we got a brainstorm. So we'll just brainstorm into... Um, hopefully a bold again. Oh, let's make blue actually. Oh, there's the cat food. Does he play Bowmaster? We can at least answer the Bowmaster. Oh yeah, he can actually, yeah, okay. Uh, so, I guess we play a Wasteland and Waste at the right time. Two cards back, so... I guess two of the Daisies can go. Hmm, we don't have any black actually. Um, I guess we'll just seek the beast here. But I guess we're screwed. Sure, he's gonna get his land. Maybe playing the wasteland he was better to at least counter his uh, 2021 one time. Hmm, he isn't going for that.
Only two lands in the grave. Yeah, you can. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's seek the beast. See if we actually find something useful here. Alright, there were the daisies. Yeah, well, we, we eat the daisies, so that's fine. We don't want those anyway now, I think. We got a bolt, but then he actually become. Ah, uh, if I had black, I could actually bolt Bowmaster here. Damn it. Um, so let's see, uh, we can Merktide as a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, uh, that was a mistake. Black was better because then we can actually kill this and then we had a, a chance. Oh well, uh, so we can play Merktide, I think. And a Wasteland then. Okay, uh, blue, blue, or uh, I, yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, that is indeed correct. Okay, Merc died. So at least we can wasteland one uh, chain of. Uh, maybe we can still close the game. And blow we can counter at least so. Maybe we draw a black land, then we can uh, kill the Bowmaster, or the Reclaimer. Wasteland. Sure. So, first mistake, this is supposed to be a black in the underground sea. Oh well, 2-3 is also fine, but I don't make any. Okay, what are we going to waste in response? Doesn't really matter. I guess it's Scrubland then. We can't cancel any color, so... Yeah, and then it's going to use it again. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, matchup is bad. True, but if I had black, at least could kill the elf, and then maybe had a bit of a chance. But there he is. Maybe he got brazen barber. Oh, and there is the other one. He's just going for it. Uh... Okay, so in theory, if I had a wasteland, because this is also always confusing, he's copying the Thespian stage. That is fine. And then when he uses this, uh, we'll need to now wasteland this one, right? So in this, and then we're safe. Okay, but yeah, that doesn't work. So brazen barrel from the top. Well, Merc, I can block at least once. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no, uh, I guess to save a bit of time, we just scoop here, I think. So we can block once. Ah, let's, and we can then top deck a brazen barber maybe. Guess we'll just wait a bit. Let's see if we can top deck a brazen barber. But Delver's not happy with this matchup, so. Oh, ooh, I can at least uh, play the Questing Druid. That gives something protection, right? A land that gives something protection.
Yeah, I should have played the question to it. Again, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, let's force of will this. I can actually play uh, another Merc Tide. <laughs> can I? Yeah, I can. But this, I think this is stalling to get a Brazen Bar, and I think this is a waste of time to do that, I think. But... But then he can give a protection, right? But we're decent on time, so who knows. <laughs> Is he gonna get his protection land or? I'm not sure if I ever won against lands. Wait, on the stream at least. I don't think so. Wasteland. Okay, let's block this, sure. Brazen Burrow from the top. Okay, brainstorm for Brazen Burrow, it's still a possibility. No, well, I can play a land. Okay, so fetch. Um. <laughs> oh, this is, yeah. Play Ponder. Brazen Barber. Can still give protection, I think. At least I try to get there. Okay, yeah, that's it. Oh, we can still shuffle, by the way. Okay. He got me. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, what to do against a land? Surgical or well, Price of Progress works. Um, it destroys the elf and a, and a, a diamond, so this probably is fine. Put that in. Oh, and needle actually. Yeah, that's true as well. Needle on wasteland. Surgicals. Maybe. I'm not really sure what to. Uh, Bowmaster doesn't really do anything here. Yeah, that, a, a cage could work there. Let's see how much space we actually have. Um, I think that's right. Do we want to trim anything else? So how good is force negation? I didn't see light from the loom. So we can maybe cut and get force negations in. Maybe even cut the last druid. Um, Merc Titus may be too slow. Okay, 
we'll cut the cage. Okay, we'll keep it as is then. Like the bolts. Well, I really want to kill his elf. So we could cu cut the unholy heat maybe then. Because unholy heat can't go to phase. Uh, get the druid back because it's still a draw. Something like this makes sense. Uh, he does kill elf. And I really, the elf is really important here. Are we just going all in on killing the elf? I think we are. Uh, okay. Who? Just in time. Let's hope that is correct. And we can at least win one game against his deck. So we have an answer to elf. Yeah, I guess we'll keep it. Turn one ponder bubble. Sure. Mm. Price of progress and force of will. I think force of will is. I guess just go for Merc Titan. It's price of progress, you want something now. It is a finisher. But well, if we draw. Get the bubble now, we can double bubble at least. Uh, we'll do that. Mox diamond, sure. Another Mox diamond, okay. Pass, we have days and we should draw the price of progress and the force of will. So we could merc tight quite quickly here actually. <laughs> That's a crazy start. Uh, yeah, we could merc that next turn, but it's a 4-4 four four only. Maybe we can counter spell something now. Looks decent, I think. If it dies, it gets a plane, right? Yeah, okay, sure. Um, playing a uh, 4 for Murktide. I guess we're gonna do that because we wanna close the game. So now we're actually gonna search for black, I think. Or red, because he can wasteland us out maybe. I guess red, because if you wasteland, we want to still bolt the elf here. Okay. That is actually true, yeah. I, uh... <laughs> I totally forgot that. Thanks for noticing that. So, Okay, I guess it's uh, Murktide for, for the win, Force of Will, anything, and Price of Progress to finish it. We have a plan. And he didn't have the elf at least turn one. Uh, no, we're not gonna counter that. So we got uh, swords to plowshare. We are gonna counter that. Okay, sure. Can we bolt that safely? We can, okay. We're still good, we're still good. Actually, bolt and then surgical the elf. Uh, let's play this. Bolt the elf and then surgical the elf. Let's hope this works because the diamond can maybe do something indeed. Wasteland or something would be nice. Q 
crop rotate, will he actually get enough lands in the graveyard? Oh yeah, the steps. To give it protection, okay. Sure. Um, just need to be quicker than him, I guess. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything about this, right? It's already six damage with Prize of Progress. Uh, do one more of those. More creatures. Mm, I guess we don't. We do get actually double triggers here. Now nah, I'm gonna put in the graveyard. That's attack. Bog and endurance, that is true. Maybe we can just spice of progress him for lethal. Got two swings in with Murktide. He needs six lands. Not sure if that's possible. Second prize, that would be great. He even plays Bowmaster. Uh sure. Actually makes sense that he plays that. Yeah, I guess we'll stick to the plan and keep on hitting with uh, Murktide. Another Murk is nice as well. Ponder. Uh, I guess we need to do that, even if he hits us for one. We still need to progress here, so... Because uh, we... Maybe can get a bolt or something to kill the Elvish Reclaimer. We have a lot of removal. An early heat. There we go. So can we safely do that? He can still use his trick, right? Reclaimer is immortal now. In that case, we'll just go for real shuffle here. Because he can get his... Uh, Okay, we'll just shuffle here. Ah, Brazen Burr is actually good here. Hopefully. Yeah, it feels quite hard, this uh, matchup. <laughs> well, we're hang hanging in there. Maybe the price of progress will help us. Would be cool. Can I attack, please? He can't cast an endurance yet, so that's another four damage. Okay, so if he can he make his twenty twenty now? Maze of it. Okay, so that, that's gone. Let's see. Um, so he needs six lands so he can price of program for lethal. Price of progress in for lethal. Uh, yeah, we'll take the damage here. We got a C. We can also just play Brazen Borer for the attack, maybe. Because it's another 3 damage. This doesn't really help here. Alright, we'll do that. I guess we'll just lean on damage and price of progress. Because attacking here doesn't really matter. Yeah, 
He's also not overextending with land, so I think maybe he knows that there's a chance I play Pirates of Progress. Greens is in it. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, sure. So end of turn, we play Brazen Borrower and we try to attack with both. Price doesn't have text anymore. What am I missing? Oh wait, yeah, he can. Uh, yeah, that's that's that makes sense. He can sacrifice everything in response. Yeah, that's true. Well, I can bounce this thing, play Price of Progress, then it's eight damage, and do. Okay, then, because he can actually, yeah, he can search for something to protect it, okay. Guess we just play this. Double price of progress, maybe? Oh, yeah, again, the price of progress didn't work. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. We'll just attack and see what happens. But I think we lost this one, indeed. Swords to blow shards. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess we'll just uh, call it quits. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard playing against lands. Is it actually lands? It's, yeah. Or is this. Um... Yeah, he has a lot of good answers against what I'm aiming to do. Depths, yeah. I always call it lands, but it's yeah, it's a bit of a different deck. So what are my outs here? Okay, they, yeah, that's good to know. So if I block the, I, I can't block, right? Yeah, okay. I'll take the damage. I guess we just let him have his victory round. Because <laughs> even if I price the progress now, if he sacrifice all his lands, it's kind of heavy. I guess we can't even win anyway, so let's do this. Uh, Ganyan Dangyang, thanks for the follow. Endurance, yeah, okay, I can't even. Why endurance? Uh, I can at least daze that to get one less damage. <laughs> But yeah, he plays Endurance and then he kills all his creatures and of all his lands and that's it. Oh well, I have a bad track record against uh, Depths. So yeah. 2-3 is still okay-ish. I get 50 player points, so... Yeah, he's gonna eat his land. Okay, so he's taking a bit. We've got a bolt. I can get him to five. 
Well, uh, yeah. I guess we just let him have his fun. Or we can just concede. Blam with everything. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Um, so if I kill this. <laughs> I can block anyway, right? So I need to actually bolt something here that dies. So we we'll bolt. Let's count again. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need to remove two toughness. So I can only bolt this thing. Yeah. He probably has something for that as well. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh well, he got me. Well, that concludes this trials. The 20th trial that wasn't into a profit, but it happens. 2-3 is still 50 player points. Well, they just let, let it let make let him make his victory round or lap or how you want to call it okay so we could at least get 50 player points so that's at least something uh so everybody this is the end of uh my magic online stream uh, tomorrow we're gonna play uh paper on this channel so uh Let's spam the usual things again. So we are Bizarre Boxes. This is our website. In two days, actually, we're gonna have a ticket sale of our tournament. You can check that out. Uh, thanks, Histar, for the hug. <laughs> Wasn't the best result, but it, it happens, it happens. Didn't make the cleanest place, but still had two wins, so it's something. Uh, so you can check uh, everything out that we do at bizarreboxes.com. Uh, you can buy this shirt, for example. We sell custom uh, magic shirts. In the future, you can buy these mugs. Not, not yet, but it's going to happen soon. Uh, you can check out our YouTube channel. We're trying to get that to a thousand, um, a thousand subs. We're close to 500, so if you sub to our YouTube channel, that will uh, help us greatly. And I think that's it. So I'm going to the end screen now. Uh, you can actually, uh, if you want, you can uh, join the raid because we're going to raid somebody. So if you stay in the end screen, you eventually join the raid. If not, uh, maybe see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to stream Paper Legacy. You can see in the YouTube channel at the uh, playlist of trials how that looks. It's just a webcam uh, above a table and we're just playing Paper Magic. So thanks everybody for watching, uh, see you guys tomorrow. If you want to stay for the raid, uh, you can hang out while we have the end screen. Or I'll see you guys tomorrow. So thanks everybody and see you soon. Bye bye, have a great evening. <laughs>